Thank you. Thank you. I, I feel it really strongly this morning, Pastor, being a mother. Because now I'm just not a mother for my children. There are many children that God has assigned me to. That I stand in the gap for their mothers. You just can't pray and be there for your children. I'm a spiritual mother too. My God. And he, when he does that, God gives you this overwhelming love. Where you can love as if they come from your womb. And I know what that's like, so I, I was looking for past he's gone, huh? Happy Mother's Day, mothers. Now there are mothers in here this morning, I know it, that has never had children, but have mothered children. I have two daughters that have never had children, but they always have children and people in their lives that they're mothering. And I said, God bless you when you allow God to do that with you. So we're going to begin now with prayer. I'm going to ask uh, Deacon Bunting if he will pray. Sis, will you get us a scripture to read this morning? And then we'll begin our worship service. In the meantime, you can give us a song while we're waiting. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Something we all can sing with you. Glory to God. We're so quiet in here this morning. And I'm, I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing that every year that God allowed me to be here as a mother. Praise God. I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing. This year, I, the phone is not ringing, and I don't hear my son's voice singing these little silly songs to me of love. But I remember him. I remember him. And not only that, I have his children. God took his, my children, my grandchildren's mother, and then he took their father, but he gave them to us. And we do. We mother them, we father them. Whatever they need, we're right there. They're in Ohio. All right? They're in Ohio. But that phone is busy and hot. And now they said, aunties, can you help me with this? Or call them for help. That didn't happen before God moved in a mysterious way. Yes. His wonders to perform. I know he does. Yes. Because out of so much pain, he's brought joy. Yes. He's brought joy to me and my family and to them. Amen. So I love a lot of people this morning. Thank you, Lord. Since you got the scripture, then you can do the prayer. My God, I don't know about you all, but I'm happy in here this morning. My Lord, my daughter, one of my daughters came. The other one came, but they were singing over the phone. The pastor was talking about not having everything as usual. Thank you, God Almighty, help us all, right? Lead me and guide me. Yeah. Pull me 
me out of the net that they have gone privately for me. For thou art my strength. Into thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, yeah. but I trust in the Lord. I, trust oh, yes. I will be glad yes. and rejoice in thy mercy. Yes. For thou hast considered my trouble. Yes. Thou hast known my soul yes. in adversity. Yes, and hast not shut me up in the oh. hand of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Yes. I will go no further. Say, for the Lord is my strong. Yes, he is. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. 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 He's brought me through this and the day. Praise God. Father, you touch us here, Father. Our peace, our calmness, 
Oh, my God. 
we just that are uh, serving as mothers. We thank God. That's what y'all can go ahead and see. Be seated. We thank God for you this morning. Thank God for Minister Wheeler as she presided over the service. We do recognize the spirit of the Lord that's in this place. We recognize each person in your respective places. We thank God for our minister of staff. We thank God for our deacon deacons. We thank God for Lady Pippin in her absence. Yes. Uh, we thank God for our praise team who have blessed us today in yes. song selection. We thank God for each person. Everybody's important in the house of the Lord. Yes. And we truly thank God. If everybody stayed home, it wouldn't be no sense in even open doors, would it? Yes. All right. But thank God that you showed up and that we can praise God together. Yes. And our Facebook family, we love you. We thank God for you joining us. Right, whatever time it is, if you're on now or if you come on later, we just thank you for joining us also. Thank you. I, I want to tell you something that I believe that, that ought to happen in every house of God. That it ought to exude the love of God. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, ought, it ought to gush out. By, by, the time, by the time you open the door and you come on the, on the ground of the church, it ought, to, yeah. it, it ought to gush out. Yeah. And when you open the doors, it ought to overtake you. Yes. Because, because if we're if we are truly connected with God, then His uh, love, His uh, love will flow through us. Yes, 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 yes. Because you can't be connected to the vine, and what's coming out of the vine ought not to come out of you. Yes, sure. right. Right. Yes. Because because we, we're we're, we're not telling the truth if we say that we're connected to God, who is love, yes. and we can't show love. And I, and I, I, I y'all gonna get tired of hearing about love because right now that's all that God has been talking to me about. Yeah, they've, been right. talking, they've been talking, been yeah, talking about about the church get back to the place where we're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We represent. You do not. Do you not know that we represent God in the earth yeah, as yeah, as a body of believers? Yeah. And anytime we have all of each other, oh. anytime we have this. Other, and we're not willing to work it out, then we're not showing the love of God. Yeah. 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 Yes, but if God is love and you're yes. you're connected to Him, yes. then His then His DNA ought to be in you, yes. 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 and you ought to act like your Father. Yes. Yes. So true. So yes. And you know what your father did? Why they were? Why they had him hung on the cross? Yeah. You know what? You know what he did? He said, "Father, forgive them." Yes, yes. he did. Yes. He didn't. He didn't die with a grudge. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. He didn't walk around mad with everybody. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I, I'm definitely gonna get you. You the one that pierced me in my side. But you know what he does? He walked in love and said, "Father, forgive them." Yeah. yeah. And I, I want to tell you that, that you got, there, there's at least three people in here that's going to get your breakthrough when you, when you let it go. When you let go. All right. There's some stuff that you've been carrying for a while because it hurts you. And it, it, and it still don't feel good. It's almost like every time you think about it, the scab come off. It's not healed. And it, and it, start, it starts back again. I know what I'm talking about. I, 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 ain't, I ain't even worried about it. I'm just telling you that, that the healing is going to happen. It must. It must. It must. It must. When you give it to God for real. Yeah. Because, because the person you hold it on to and the thing that they've done to you, if, if you don't if you don't free it, they're they not going about their business. They might not even think about it. But but as long as you let it be a part of you and they have they have they still have control. But the day we get free. You're, you're, you're not gonna hold me to the point where 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 I can't walk in love. Yes, 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 yes. From the book, I know I know we gotta hurry up because y'all got some dinner plans, you got stuff going on, and I ain't gonna hold it long. But from the book of Proverbs, chapter three. Proverbs chapter three. I, I truly want to thank God for all of the beautiful mothers and the role that you play and the things that you do. 
uh, we give God the praise and glory for you. But I ain't going to go back home, but I want to thank God for my wonderful wife and two praise children God. that you blessed, blessed us with. And I'm, I don't live in a house, I live in a home. Amen. Amen. And the reason why I live in a home is because, because I have somebody there that, that, that's not there trying to pull me like one way and I'm pulling oh, the other way. Oh, we're we're doing God. this thing together. Yes. If, if your house is if your house is ever going to be a home, you can't be going one way and your husband right. going one way, right. and your wife going one way, yeah, and your husband going one way. You got to you got to be able to come together. And you got that you got to stop throwing temper tantrums. Yeah. Yes. Falling out. Yeah. Walking around in the house won't speak. <laughs> Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six. Trust the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. That is the word of the Lord for you today, and we thank God for you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. All your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. I want to talk to you from a theme, from a subject. Trusting, trust God when it don't make sense. Trust God when it don't make sense. You know, and I ain't trying to be funny, but now uh, in schools they are teaching what they call new man. Yes. And when I was taught, Two plus two equal four. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But in the new map, they it, it comes to be the same thing, but they go a whole other direction. Yes. 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 And they're taught a whole different way of how to get from yeah. two to two mm -hmm. to come up to four. Yeah. Yeah. But the teachers begin to give them options on how to arrive at the answer. Mm -hmm. But in my day, they told us. You put these two over here, put the plus sign in the middle, you put the other two there, and you put an equal sign, and you add the two together, and come up with four. But thank God, even with the new map and the old map, we come up with the same thing. So don't get mad with me because I keep going to the old way, and you go the new way. All right. As long as we arrive at the right edge. Right. Yeah. 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 The same way that you can hear people now is, is that you think that your parents are old fashioned. <laughs> because they have a certain way that they do things. That's right. And you got this new mindset that, that I, I've got to, it's got to be done this way and, right. and it don't really make no sense because I'm in a new era and you're in this old way. Yeah. 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 But what we need to understand is, is that when it comes down to it, when we live in the same house, we got to come up with the same answer. Yeah. And the same answer is, is that we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. What we need to understand is, is that when it comes to the things of God, you cannot lean to your own understanding. Because, because connect, being connected to God, that sometimes God will do some stuff in your life that don't make sense to your natural mind. To your natural man, you can't understand how in the world that, 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 that I, I'm going through all of this and, and you keep telling me that God is going to make a way. That's where the trust comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And can I tell y'all that, that, that somebody that told you a, a whole big lie and told you that, that God is fair? <laughs> they got quiet. <laughs> say that God is not fair because he don't do it the way we think it ought to be done. Can I tell y'all what I do know? God knows every one of us and he knows how to handle us better than we know how to handle us. He knows if he 
you put a million dollars in my hand, I'll go crazy. <laughs> he might put it in your hand, and you know how to handle it. You know how to invest it. So he ain't going to handle me the same way he handled you. Right? He'll give it to me as a little bit. He'll keep giving me a little bit, but he might give you the whole thing at one time because he knows that you can handle it. But we got to trust God that he know what he's doing. And even when it don't make sense, and even when it don't add up like you think it ought to add up, you still ought to give God glory. Yes. You ought to still give God praise because even when it don't make sense, we know that it's in God's control. Yes. 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 And when we trust in the Lord, and that word trust means when we have confidence, yes. assurance yes. that God is going to take care of me. It don't, it don't have to make sense to me. All I got to do is trust God, and he's going to make everything all right. Yes. Is there anybody here that ever trusted God for anything, and, and it just didn't make sense how you had to wait so long, and, and, it, and it don't seem like it was going to come, like you thought it was going to come, but after a while, he showed up. Come here, blind man. Blind man sitting around there, and he and he's been sitting around there, and he's been waiting, and he's been waiting, and all of a sudden, Jesus. And it don't make sense how the man got his healing. Because God will use some tactics that'll blow your mind. The Bible said when the man came there, he came blind. And he had been born blind. And everybody wanted to know who didn't see him. Can I tell you everything ain't a sin?
sometimes even put us in a desperate situation. You walking along and all of a sudden something hits you, hits your pocketbook, hits your family, hits your body to the point where all of a sudden now you go into the doctor more than you ever went to the doctor. You having to trust God. Yes, yes. Trust God. They take your blood and they keep saying it don't look good. And you keep waking up every morning, lifting your head yes. and say, God, I don't know how you're going to heal me, but I'm going to trust you for the healing. Lord, I don't know how you're going to make a way, but I, but I got more bills than I got money, but I'm going to trust you that you're going to make a way. And I'm going to go ahead and give and do what I'm supposed to do. blind man, he didn't, he didn't call everybody to come and feel sorry for him. Right. See, in the church, we got too many people wanting us to feel sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you that, that us having pity is not going to change the situation? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting around whining about it, sitting around crying about it, sitting around talking about nobody knows the trouble I see. Right. But can I tell you that God will break all some stuff if you would trust him? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I want to tell y'all what I do know. We're going to take, we're going to take an ownership of some stuff that don't even want to be in our lives. Amen. 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 Jesus. Free yourself. Amen. My God. Amen. Amen. We take an ownership of some stuff that ain't supposed to be there. It's not mine. Can I tell you what happened? Yeah. An enemy crept in yeah. and planted it there. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been watering it. No. 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 You've, been, you've, been, you've been putting sunshine around it. Right. And it's been growing. And there's not enough medicine that's going to get rid of it. All right. All right. Matter of fact, they keep upping the dosage. And they keep getting high. Because God said, this time it ain't going to be the doctors that's going to give you the medicine if you were come in the room. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh my God. So, this man got this mud on his eyes. He didn't ask nobody to come and feel sorry for him, but he walked. He 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 didn't, he couldn't see, but he could hear. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't believe he went to no stale water. All right. All right. Can I use my little imagination? I believe the water was running. All right. All right. All right. Because when you heard it running water, it's talking about yeah. living water. Yeah. See, too many times we hang around stale pool. and all this kind of stuff. And we're expecting healing to come from something that's dead. All right. But this man, I can believe in my heart, he, he, heard, he hears the, the, the water hitting up against something or, or battling like a brook. Uh -huh. yeah. So he can hear the water. Yeah. Not only can he hear the water, but he can smell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And what I'm trying to tell you, it might not make sense, but God gave you some sense to trust him. Yeah. Yeah. And keep moving. Even if you can't see it, you ought to be able to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the sunrise said, up above my head. Yeah. <laughs> that every now and then when I want to be oppressed and depressed, I keep hearing music in the air. It keeps hitting me in my soul and every time I want to give up, there's a praise that breaks out. And he gets to the water. He washes the mud off. Because the mud doesn't does its work. See, what I'm trying to tell you is that when you get to the water and you begin to wash in the word and you begin to wash in the things of God, some stuff gonna fall off. And on this Mother's Day, God sent me to tell you that it ain't gonna make sense, but if you trust me, you're gonna see the result and the manifestation of what you've been praying for. 
back seeking. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus, glory to God. And everybody want to know God. how did this happen? Lord God. And he had to testify. Yeah. See, ain't nothing wrong with a testimony. This man testified, said there was a man named Jesus yeah. who anointed my eyes with some nasty mud. Yeah. I went washing yeah. and came back to see you. Right. <laughs> now, now, this is a shot right there. See, the problem is, is that we're waiting on the result.
Can I tell you, you don't have to get revenge? No. no. Your haters got a date. Oh. You just put your hands on yourself and tell them, my haters got a date. My But these 
boy would not back. And church God has said in this hour that you can't bow to peer pressure, you can't bow to your circumstances, you can't bow to what the devil is trying to tell you that it's going to be. But I come and tell you, he's a liar. Yes. Louise yes. Jamie will be. Yes, he will free you and bless those laws that they'll be able to take the area and he won't need all the options to let you in. Because we serve a God who cannot lie. If he said it, he'll make it good. And these boys will not bow. And the people that, that brought them to throw them in the fire furnace, it almost like it don't make sense. Because they were pushing them to the fire. But the fire redirected went around <laughs> and burned up the ones that were. See, y'all don't really understand. It's just that, 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 that you, you worried about your haters. You worried about your enemies. You don't start praising God when they try to put their hands on you. Yes. And then this is what this is what the Lord is saying. He's saying that that what has happened is, is that they tried to put you in a, in a destroying fire. Oh, right. But I'm going to turn it into a refining uh, All right. All right.
on this Mother's Day. I know it don't make sense. Some of the stuff that you had to endure as a mother. But all the spit of All the nights that you had to worry about because you had a fever. Running from doctor to doctor. Being concerned that you got to work and try to figure out how to take care of the children. Some of you did it without a spouse. Some of you did it without a mother. Because God was with you. Yes. Yes. Even though you didn't see him. Yes. Even though you thought you were doing it by yourself. Yes. But I know one thing for sure. When my children were in my heart, they definitely had a role in the situation and things going on. But since they left my house, I pray for a more time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I ask God to watch over people more than that. Yes, yes, sir. I know y'all said it don't make sense. They grow, they ought to be able to pray for themselves. But I want to I be like the brother and say, Lord, if they have sinned, I want to be like Joel. If they do Because love will go all the way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You're in this building today. Glory. On this Mother's Day. Yes, Lord. And possibly you're sitting here and you're saying, I done been through a whole lot of stuff and preachers talk talking about it don't make sense. As a matter of fact, I'm going through some stuff right now that don't make sense. But I want to tell you, if you trust God, if you trust Him, the same way He brought you the last time, and the time before that, and the time before that, He's going to do it this time, this time, and He's going to keep on doing it. If there's anybody in this building that's got a loved one, a friend, or an enemy on your heart this morning. They heavy on your heart this morning. Would you meet me at the altar so we can pray? Pray with them. I know it don't make sense for us to be standing in this building and they somewhere else. They might be, they might be halfway around the world. <laughs> but what don't make sense to us is just right for God. And if by chance there's somebody in this building this morning who just want a deeper, closer walk with God, it's not that you don't know it, but you just want to get closer. Would you come? If you're, if you're in this building and you're asking God to show you your purpose and your destiny, where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing, Because you know that there's some things that you're supposed to be doing right now, but you're not really sure. But but you're asking God to, to show me where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. Here we are, God, not trusting them, 
to change or trust in you, God, with the results. Forgive us, Lord. And help us to trust you more. Yes, God. Lord, I don't know what, what might be going on in the hearts of brothers and sisters, but you. I pray that you would touch now. Do it now, Father. I pray to God that you would move heaviness off their heart. Things that they can't fix themselves, God. We know that you deal in impossibilities. We believe in you, Lord God, that change is already done. We're trusting you, Lord God, that that you have begun a good work in us. We'll bring it to completion. Lord, we believe. But if there's any unbelief in us, God, help our unbelief. That's what the prophet said when his son was going through one of the worst times of all, God. And he brought him to the disciples and they couldn't help. And he tells Jesus, Lord, I believe. I believe. But help there, if there's any unbelief, help my unbelief. And Jesus changed the life of the man and his son. We find it in scripture. And you said, if we can find it, we can stand on it. So we're standing on your promises today, God. Touch our children. Touch our family. Touch our friends. Touch our enemies, God. But we want to see change in all of them. But most of all, we want to see change in us. Lift us up, Lord God. Where we belong. Lord God, you have delivered us from low, from low states. You have delivered us from, from oppression and depression. You have delivered us from sin. And whom the Son set free, we declare their freedom over this place today. Strengthen, Lord God, our faith. Strengthen our hunger and our desire to please you, God, to know you, God, in a better way. And help our love language, God. Help us that we might be able to speak the way you want us to speak uh, to our brothers, to pray for them yeah. as we ought to, God, yeah. and to love on them like we're supposed to love on them. Yeah. We declare healing. Yeah. I know it don't make sense, God, but we're already claiming the healing before the doctors even yeah. say so. Yeah. Yeah. Before the blood work come back. Yeah. Before the CAT scan come back, before the MRI come back, before any test come back, God, we thank you for healing. Yeah, thank you. Bless our young people, God. I pray for a fresh anointing, a fresh fire that will burn in their soul. That every time they try to fit in, God, with the cliques and with the people that don't. Lord, I pray that you would shelter them. And I know it might not make sense, but I pray God will open them. That you would keep them from path. That they're not supposed to go down. As we close this prayer, God, we thank you for shining. We thank you for every member, God, in their respective places. Strengthen us as a home, as a family. To walk in love. To pray for one another. That if we know anything about somebody, God, we don't talk about it. We pray for it. Because we all need strength. And if I can be selfish for just one moment, God, I pray uh, for my wife today, God. Thank you, Lord God, for taking care of her. Thank you, Lord God, for the healing. Over Sister Johnson, Lord God. 
We pray today, God, over the Ripley family, the Ripley Walker family, Lord God, that even the body at home right now, God, at his Mother's Day, God, Mother's heart is broken. But God, you know how to mend. So have an address right now, God. I pray that you will move in the room. And give her strength that she don't even understand. And all other families that are going through this time of bereavement. This time of loss, this time of transition. That's the truth, keep us. And there will be testimony. There will be testimony. After this prayer, God the call to me, but the call you came in faith, you can't trust it. There will be testimony of change and deliverance. In Jesus' name. And all of God's people said amen. amen. Would you hug on somebody, love on somebody, encourage them, and say it's a chance. Will you not leave the altar, please? Please don't leave the altar. Stay with me for a moment, please. All of you, would you stay with me for a moment, please? God bless you. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. No, I never want to be in a hurry. Sisters and brothers, we have a young lady that is coming this morning. Her mother said that she wants to be saved. Amen. 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 That, would be, that would be good. That would be good. That would be good if, if, um, if we were watching the ball. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about a young lady yeah. at a tender age yeah. who recognized that she needs to be saved. Yeah. And nobody put her up to it. This is something of her own desire. What a Mother's Day this evening. Oh, yeah. What a Mother's Day this evening. Sing grandma, we dedicate. Sing daughter, give her life to Christ. Yeah. Sing mama, Dedicate and come back and join the church and now the baby. See, see what you don't understand. Don't make sense. Salvation don't make you perfect. It just makes you forgive. But God will work on, on your heart to make you better and better and better. Yes. Yes.
Today, I'm forgiven. Today, I'm saved. Today, I'm filled with God's Spirit. In Jesus' name, Lord bless you.
if you want to see God work in your life in a way that you want him to work, yes, don't be afraid to do what he tells you to do. Amen. Yes. Amen. Not only not only in finances, not only in finances, yes. but in relationship, in the Amen. things that are going on. If you do what God tells you to do, obedience is better than any sacrifice. Amen. As we get ready to come to a close, I want to first of all I want to say again to all of the mothers here in person and those of you on Facebook Live and those of you that we will get a chance to see at some point in time, we, we pray that this be a fully blessed day, that you would enjoy uh, family and friends, or if you just need some time to be by yourself. Yes. Because there are some mothers that got got little kids and little children and, and they don't get much sleep, so maybe maybe their, their mothers, they just give me yes. a minute. That can go take me a power down. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Because I know, I know I got a daughter, and every now and then she just said, all I need is a power man. Amen. Because she got a newborn, and he, he be getting up at all times of the day oh, and night yeah. because he's yes. hungry. Yeah. And then she got a two-year-old and a four-year-old, and sometimes they don't know when the clock is 7 o'clock or if it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Amen. So I pray that she get a nap. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. But we love you, and we thank God for you. Uh, by way of announcements, we've got three, and I'm going to move out of your way. On tomorrow at 11 o'clock, uh, there will be a celebration of life here at the church uh, for Brother uh, Ronald Walker, Sr. Uh, he's a, a son of uh, Sister Mildred Ripley. Uh, he passed away, and they're going to have a celebration of life here at 11 o'clock on tomorrow. I want, if you're not able to attend, because I do know some of you work, would you please pray for this family? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Your prayers, sometimes... What you can't do physically, your prayers can do in a, in a way that you couldn't do. But we thank the church for uh, all that is, is uh, being done and prepared to make sure that we uh, do what we're supposed to do or what we need to do for this family during this time. Uh, the second thing is, is that um, on last Sunday, I asked everyone about the changing of the church uh, service time. We've been going at 10 o'clock uh, since the pandemic. Uh, our usual time is 11 o'clock. Uh, I was open and fair about it. We, we did it in a democratic way. And so the way it was done was it was overwhelmingly that we would stay at the 10 o'clock hour. So we will uh, continue to go as we've been going at Sun School at 9 and church at 10. And so that was the request of the majority of the church family. Uh, Thirdly, we forgot the third thing. We're going to go back to it. Uh, but we, we're, we're going to move away. Uh, the, there are some uh, some gifts that our, our brothers have come uh, to work on. First of all, we want to thank uh, Deacon Bunting and Sister Bunting for, for the work and, and uh, the men of the church for, for doing what you're doing to be able to uh, celebrate and to bless our. Uh, mothers with a small token and said we love you and we thank God for you. Um, and I just give God the praise and glory for those things that we've done. And so if we would, we would take a few more minutes at the time if you don't mind uh, to take care of sharing those gifts with the mothers of the church. <laughs> so while, while they are coming, thank you for your prayers and your concern, your text, and your call uh, to my wife on Thursday. She had knee surgery. Uh, she was able uh, right after then to get up and start moving around. And she's been moving around ever since. But uh, we want you to uh, pray for her that she would continue to mend and everybody else is going to be in the sickness. But uh, that's the reason why she's not here today is that she didn't want to be on the knee too much. But uh, thank God that um, God is giving healing her body, and we thank God for that. Um, I don't know. I, maybe you got some family members who want to say congratulations to any person graduating or have graduated in the last couple of days. Congratulations to all the graduates. <coughs> they are coming. Uh, we got uh, put our young men to work, and uh, thank God for them being willing to step in and do what needs to be done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Songwriter said, Millions didn't make it. But you're one of those that did. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to praise God for us to meet you. Yeah. Yeah.